Hey guys, it's Ashley again. Um, I'm making this video because um, the other day I was going through some of my old clothes and one thing I did find that kind that caught my eye and I've been not having, you know, I haven't really been able to stop thinking about it since. Um, I found a pair of my old jeans. That's right, yeah, it's a pair that I wore back in 2010, and I bought them at Blue Notes. Blue Notes is a Canadian clothing store, and um, I used to shop there often, you know, and three years ago I was at a different weight than I am now. I was, um, I was lighter, I mean, I was still overweight, but like, I wasn't really like how I am now, and anyway, I'm going to show them to you right now. All right, hold on a second. Come with me. There they are. Yep. Yeah. I know the knees have kind of those spots on them, but that's okay. But yeah. 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 Unfortunately, I can't wear them right now because. You know, I've gained weight since then, and they don't fit me. But they are still in very, very good condition. You know, they're basically still, like, brand new, kind of. You know, very good quality. And I really wish I could wear them again. But, you know, I'm not saying that I'm not going to. I mean, obviously I'm going to, because, you know, I've already lost some weight already. But the point is, I'm using this as a motivator because I really want to wear these again. And it's just so hard to find jeans that fit these days. And that's one of the problems about having weight issues is that you have a disadvantage about finding clothes faster, or at least the clothes that you'd like to wear. And, um, yeah, like, I don't know, yesterday I went clothes shopping and I kind of didn't really feel very happy like I felt a little bit depressed and you know especially knowing that I found these and I can't even wear them like look how small my waist was I mean I know that's still kind of big in some ways but you know it's still a hell of a lot smaller than I've got it now I've put on I think two pant sizes since then so I'm really hoping Hopefully by my 25th birthday, the latest, and that's like not till June and we're in September, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to fit back in these again because that would be like a dream come true for me, you know? That would be awesome. And I remember I wore these jeans when I went to Germany three years ago with my boyfriend. Yeah, we went there for a vacation during the winter time. Uh, because uh, he's from there actually and um, yeah I got to meet a lot of his family members and uh, he's a German Canadian he's lived here most of his life in Canada like but uh, you know he's from there I got to see where he's from and everything but also when I was there I was at a decent weight like I mean I was still overweight but I wasn't big like I am now and I just don't know what happened. I mean, whatever, you know. But And these were the pants that I wore a lot of the time when I was there. And now, like, and, you know, I tried putting them on the other day. I can't even lift them all the way up. Like, they don't go very much past my knees. Like, that's... <laughs> but, you know, like, that's one of the things you got to look at, you know. You got to use this as a motivator, you know. And say to yourself, no, I'm not giving up. And no, like, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep working really hard until I reach my goal. And until I can fit in these again. Because I know that I'm worth it. You know, I'm 24 years old. Right? Like, my life is just beginning. So, yeah. And, you know, I've already lost 11.3 pounds in four weeks. So... Let's see, unfortunately, I haven't really been able to, well, as I mentioned in my last video, I suffered a back injury 
earlier in the week, and I haven't really been able to do much, but I did go to the gym today, actually. I didn't stay very long, though, because I didn't want to put further strain on my back. And my back gets a little bit better each day, like, now I can get up and walk around, and yeah, like, the first day, I believe it was on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, I couldn't even move at all, really, without screaming in pain. But now I can move, and now I can do all sorts of things. I still gotta be careful with the working out, though. I only stayed there, I think, about 20 or 30 minutes. Like, I couldn't, you know, and usually I like staying for at least an hour, but I couldn't do that today. And, and you know, it makes me upset. I do want to work out, and I, I really do, but... And I'm glad I did today, but... Still, but I've been trying to watch what I've been eating, like, I've been staying within the point system. There was one day this week, it was actually a couple of days ago, um, I had my boyfriend over, and we went out for dinner with a friend, and, um, I did have, I think I went a little over the points. Yeah, I did, actually. But that was the only day so far. All the other days, I've been trying to follow. And, yeah, I'm really hoping that there's not really a change in my weight loss. Like, when I go in for my meeting on Wednesday, I really hope that, um, you know, I really hope that my weight won't change, or I at least hope I don't gain anything. Like, that's what I'm a little bit worried about, you know, because I haven't been very active lately. You know, but that's not my fault. I'm not doing that on purpose. But I'm still trying to find ways to still eat well and stuff like that, right? And try and keep somewhat active. It's all about taking it slow. Anyway, um, but yeah, one of the things that I'm really trying to use to help motivate me are these. One thing, and you know, like, I recommend that those of you that are also dieting or trying to lose weight, you know, if you really need to find something to help motivate you, uh, go through your old drawers or go through your closet and find a piece of clothing that you used to wear that you still love, you know, and that you wish that you can wear again. You know, and all one thing that you should also do is hang them up in a place that's visible. Like, make sure, like, for example, what I'm going to do is probably, um, I'm going to take one of those push pins and I'm going to like put it up against my wall because I want it to be in the spot where I'm going to see it all the time. Like as soon as I wake up, it'll be right there and it'll tell me, yes, Ashley, keep working towards getting into those jeans again because, you know, like you paid good money for these jeans and they're top quality material and, you know, like they shouldn't go to waste. And they're also flared, too, which is what I love. You know, I love wearing flared pants. I always have. So, yes. So I recommend, if you really want to find a good way to motivate yourself to lose weight, look for an old piece of clothing that you used to wear that you love. You know, and stick it in an obvious spot where you'll see it, like, a lot. And that way, it'll tell you, it'll help you stick with the plan. Anyway, I'm going to go now, so I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!